should play the fantastic music that we already have, but we should also have the direction forward. The clarinet is a really flexible instrument. You can do a lot of things. It doesn't have any limits, really. I think that then it's really important to open that door for the audience, to let them in. Well, I got this fantastic award, BB Trust Award, Borletti Butoni, which means that you have a, a certain amount of money that you should use for something that could develop your, your musicianship. And the first thing that came to my mind actually was, was to commission a piece. That was a quite easy choice. I have commissioned Kalle Viajo to, to write a clarinet concerto for me, which will be performed in 2006, spring, April. Kalle is a humble man with a strong voice, I think, with, a, with a, something important to say as a composer. Many composers think it's forbidden to write today beautiful music. Why? I wonder why. I, I think everything should be open, everything should be possible without no taboos. I start from the first bar and then I enter the last bar. I don't write drafts at all. It's full score from the beginning to, to end. It's, it goes fast, therefore, but you must be very critical when you write music on that and, and a little bit experience also. Yes, I have composed till now 13 symphonies and uh, almost nine concertos. And then I have four operas and three chamber symphonies, four strings and a lot of chamber music. I have good ideas from Dostoevsky especially and also from Günther Krass, the German author. Or the big idea can come from nature, Finnish, Finnish nature or Nordic nature. Then I can get ideas from the society, from the world in which we are living. There are the same kind of challenges for every instrument. You have to know the instrument very, very well. And then you have to find the soul of the instrument somehow. I, I try to find, find the soul of the clarinet. And also in this case, because Martin is a fine personality, so I maybe when I know him better, maybe there is there will be some something about his own personality in in my piece. I was born in Uppsala, which is quite close to Stockholm, but I grew up in North Sweden, Sollefteå, which was not very, not so much culture in that town. So I moved when I was 15 to Stockholm and started the Royal Academy there. I'm doing 80% classical repertoire, so that's the core of my work. And um, one first performance every year, plus maybe two or three new smaller pieces. That's quite a small part. And, but it's an important part, because that's how you create music history for today. The big composers who have survived, they have written for clarinet in a very singing way. And that's a big difference between more classical stuff and uh, modern, that you can, you are really free of develop new sounds, new sound techniques. And... 
Sakeli Apeli Abdexi The style can be very different in my different pieces and it depends all, always on that what I have to say with the piece. That's the general idea behind the piece. Then I begin to write a piece and try to find the right style just for those ideas and therefore they can be very different in different works. Men är ni lurig? Nej men alltså vadå? Ingen... Vi börjar 50 påslag. Mm. Ja. Ja, ja men då, då, då kör vi en Jag är helt säker på det. Mm. Mm. I think also it's important to have a good contact with the soloist. I think we can help each other in this matter. It can also happen I write some, something and soloist say that's too difficult. Then I change it. Of course you have, you must have that co cooperation with the musician and always. I think that's a good collaboration, that you can give a really a small idea and then he goes further on and makes an idea in his word that I wouldn't think was possible and then I really try hard to do it. I have very many concerts with the Swedish musicians. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I think because they are so good, just those musicians are so good. I think it's important when you start this collaboration to have one foot in the, in the fiasco almost, to, to really have the courage to say this could be ridiculous or this could really not work and then go on. And then in the end maybe you have the courage or the, you are brave enough to to do it. It's going to be really exciting to, to develop the clarinet, uh, my playing in this matter. Läpikuultavia kärpäsiä. Mistä te siihen ilmestyitte? It can be simple. I want to write music which is, which is beautiful. <laughs> For example, find a beautiful melody at the beginning and start to work. I mean, to work with composers who's uh, alive today, it's, it's, it's special. I don't know at all what it's going to be right now. And that's a good feeling.